nearly a meter long, one of the largest flying birds. It takes two and a half meter wings to get its six kilo body into the air. The white-tailed sea eagle is a master of survival. In bleak winter, when food is in short supply, it hunts wildfowl. Driving the coots underwater until they tire. There are 60 species of eagle. They are among the largest and most impressive birds, united by their killing skills. Soaring on huge, broad wings, scanning the landscape with eyes more acute than our own. They can swipe prey with enormous talons. And devour their victims with meat cleaver beaks. But the white tail is distracted by the calls of his mate. Eagles pair for life, and every year this couple return to their nest. They have built their home in the cold northern forests of Scandinavia. Calling helps renew their bonds. They may be together for 20 years or more. Mating is a delicate balancing act that requires patience and trust from both parties. But they won't be able to enjoy this intimate moment for long. One of their offspring from last year is hoping to be welcomed home to the nest. It'll be several years before the chocolate brown chick will lighten and get its characteristic white tail. The youngsters will often stay close to their birthplace for their first few years. The plaintive calls beg for a free meal, but it's not going to work. With the female pregnant, they need to make some preparations. It's March, and still pretty cold around their wetland home. The male eagle is searching, but he's not after food, or even the frozen drinking water. He diligently gathers the driest reeds and grasses he can find and takes them back to the nest. The huge platform, or eyrie, gets bigger each year with the home improvements. The grass goes on the inside to create a bowl. It's like papering the nursery for when the baby comes. Blue tits appreciate his handiwork. Smaller birds often nest in the underside of the eyrie. As long as the eagles don't eat them, they'll do a good job of keeping other predators at bay. <laughs> 